It's like playing Guitar Hero in hyperspeed. At first, it seems impossible, but soon, oh baby, we're not good. When someone plays on slow mode, we're gonna be like, what the heck am I even looking at? Okay, okay. <laughs> There was a, um, on, on the BC ferry that I took from basically Victoria to Vancouver, I just, I have to say basically, because otherwise some nautical nerd is actually gonna be like, actually, it's from Swartz Bay. Shut up, dude. Look what you did. <laughs> Nobody even knows what Swartz Bay is. You're coming in here repping Swartz Bay. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's where the ferry terminal is. Oh, you mean Victoria? Let him go, man. Anyway, what was I talking about? Hang on, I gotta lose real quick. Anyway, long story short, long story long, they had a Guitar Hero arcade cabinet on the boat. Now, it's been a while, but I'm a millennial. Fun game. Um, I uh, I knew I could rip it up. I'm not, sh I'm not saying I was gonna play painkiller on expert because I don't even know if they had that in the arcade version of the game I go to the the machine to try to get change machines broken half the arcade game is broken not unexpected change machine broken is like okay I get it you hate running a business because that's literally how like your customers give you money so maybe they're not running an arcade maybe they're running like a vital piece of transportation infrastructure and like everything else is just window dressing, but like at the same time, I mean, none of that's really relevant. I was pissed is what I'm trying to say. So I didn't get to show off to my wife and daughter how good I am at Guitar Hero. So they probably like don't respect me as much anymore. So now I fucking got to give my kid like a bigger allowance when they hit age 12 and then chat's going to be mad at me and say like I'm out of touch. Pretty much just like started unraveling the fabric of my entire life just because you couldn't be bothered to fix your change machine. Which is pretty messed up. Okay, so speaking of pretty messed up, my placement. Never ever let your brain rest. That's Tetris. Hey, we can make a, a bit here. You know how people online are always trying to sell uh, like courses for how to be like a, a stock trader, a f foreign exchange trader and stuff like that? What if we did that, but for Tetris? The number one rule of uh, becoming a Tetris superstar <laughs> is don't text her back. If you ever text her back, you will never get to Tetris Grandmaster status. That's just incel programming? Bro, they're all incel programming, okay? That's... I did see a good one. And by good one, I mean obviously like a terrible one. It was uh, what appeared to be in my estimation a 19 year old that said here's how easy it is to uh, become a billionaire you start with one dollar and then you just grow that at two percent a day and it was like in eight years you become a billionaire and it's so easy to just get two percent a day like that just think about it like that right it's what, what could be easier two percent that's like nothing you might be saying there's truth to that. Okay, all I would say to you right now is don't buy any courses because you're a mark. The second thing I would say is keep the math going, okay? Because after you become a billionaire, if you keep growing your wealth at 2% a day, within like 10 years, you have more money than exists on all of planet Earth. You can't eat in that period. Brother, that's not the problem. <laughs> You can eat ice soup. You see that tweet? When you get paid bi-weekly. Week one, Yamaha MX-7. Week two, ice soup. Great tweet. They got, they got some good tweeters these days. Like the website's washed, but the talent level is still crazy. Final Fantasy music? You can't just do that. I'm dead. Okay, good game. Blue Sky has a lot of the good tweeters. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I'm sure... Well, here's the problem, though. If only the cool people went to Blue Sky, where are they getting all their content from? They're like, please, please, can some idiots come over here so I can quote tweet dunk? And then when people say that's bullying, say no, it's not bullying, they have bad opinions. It's your content. Yeah, I know. That's why I can't leave Twitter. I need to stay at the, at the font of idiocy. I'm entering my good at Tetris era. Honey, please come to bed. Sorry. I'm such a... Shape cell. Me shape maxing? 
when my wife tells me to come to bed. Sorry, honey. My straight piece is a green Z tonight. Apollo, you still here? I feel like you would be disappointed in me for that one. But sometimes you got to throw out some stinkers to find one that smells half decent. That's why I tweeted my drafts folder. I want it to be like an inspiration for the next generation. Let you know, like, not every joke is going to be like a classic coming right off the top. Like, some, some of them are going to be like, it's crazy that Peppa and Maka are both Ronies. Which is still one that I think, like, is really good and you guys just aren't ready for it. But, like, for now, I'm going to pretend that I don't think it's funny, even though I think it's extremely hilarious.